Hey everyone, I just want to thank you for coming on uh, for Get Up, which is our 30 minute boot camp. Uh, so what I just did, I just tried to change the volume settings a little bit uh, for the for the mic. It sounded like it was coming in a little bit low, so I apologize for that. Again, I just changed my setup, so I want to make sure that I can make these small little adjustments, uh, so that way it comes in really clear. If you guys can hear it really clear, um, or you don't have to really adjust the volume too much, by all means, put a you know, got it or thumbs up or something uh, in the comments uh, below. I greatly appreciate that. Also, I am just going to uh, add in the um, playlist uh, for Spotify, so that way you guys have some music that if you want to listen to, by all means, do so. Uh, if you have your own music that you want to listen to, again, please do so. Um, there's nothing wrong with you doing that. I just wanted to give you that option. So, again, thank you for coming on uh, to take Get Up. I'm just, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to load up. So I see there's uh, a couple people on right now. So again, just want to thank you guys uh, for taking that time in your Tuesday uh, to do this with me. I uh, greatly appreciate it. Uh, for today's workout, we're not really going to use uh, too much uh, weights uh, in terms of like some sort of external dumbbells, uh, external res resistance being like dumbbells. We're going to go more body weight, uh, but also up the uh, cardio portion of it so there's gonna be a lot of uh, there's gonna be a lot of moving around uh, again if the video image comes out kind of funky uh, maybe a little blurry because I have this in manual focus um, again my apologies uh, I'll be working on little things just to again make sure that the stream uh, comes in really clear and as best as I can make it um, without further ado um, again if you want to follow me or send me a message um, you can reach out to me on Twitter and Instagram at Coach Hector M or uh, through Discord at Road to Strength, so it's a capital R, capital S, uh, with the pound sign or hashtag of 2587. Again, Discord is just a uh, almost like an instant messaging uh, type service, but you can also join groups and communities uh, where you can, you know, chat about different things. Um, that's how I learned a lot about how to create some uh, film uh, and video production. I've just been using uh, those servers and networks just to kind of understand how to how to run everything. So again, thank you for coming on. Uh, looking forward to getting this workout in. And let's start with some jump rope, okay? So again, let's just pretend that we got a jump rope, okay? And I'm just going one leg at a time, okay? Um, don't have to, you know, go super crazy with this. And again, go at your own pace. The, the goal of this right here is I put these up live. Uh, later on today, I'll be having uh, last Thursday's episodes uh, on YouTube. And then again, I'll put uh, this, uh, this class and flex from just, you know, 10 minutes ago uh, up as well. Let's go into some skater hops a little, for a little bit. Um, so you'll have these and essentially the YouTube channel uh, will work as like a library or highlight uh, reel of, of different videos that I'll have going up. Great job, everybody. Nice work. Hopefully, uh, if you guys are playing some music, it's getting you guys moving and grooving. So let's go right into some skips. Again, if you haven't already done so, grab, some, make sure you have a water bottle of some sort. You know, you have a towel because you are going to want to wipe down some sweat. Great job. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. And let's go into some knee hugs. And again, the goal right here isn't to rush through it as fast as you can. You almost want to do the exact opposite. And again, after the class is over, I like to stick around for, you know, two to four, two to five minutes. 
um, depending on if people are sticking around or they just all leave, uh, where I like to answer whatever questions uh, fitness related that you may have. Let's go into some lateral lunges. Again, thank you for those who are taking this class. I really appreciate it. Again, taking the time to just, you know, get your mind away from working or anything going on with home and trying to, you know, again, make ourselves feel better um, after this class is over than when we started. And let's go into some toe touches. So toes up towards the ceiling and just reach for the toes. Again, if you can also you know, share this with friends, family, by all means, um, let's do that. I do eventually want to run, um, I'm not accepting donations through Twitch, but um, pretty soon I do want to run almost like a charity stream, a charity workout, uh, and donate those proceeds to, you know, local hospitals, um, especially with them being very busy and short on supplies. So just, you know, whatever can help. And let's go into a figure four stretch. So we're just doing a standing figure four. Again, if you have injuries, don't overdo it today, okay? Uh, don't overdo it at all, uh, ever, but really focus on just good movement quality. Because we gotta modify it. I'll show the modifications for these exercises so that way you can do it at no matter what level you're at, okay? And great job, everybody. Nice work. So what I want to do here is on Thursday, I didn't do a lot of core. So we're going to start with core work right now uh, and then move into some strength work after. Um, so the first thing is going to be a bear crawl. Now, if you haven't done a bear crawl before, that's perfectly fine. The modification will be just holding a table plank while we're doing this. Uh, if you feel more than comfortable to do the bear crawl, again, by all means, let's do that. So, with the bear crawl, you are going to start in an all four position, digging the toes into the floor. And right now, because I'm so far forward, I'm actually going to go backwards. And then right back forward. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with moving, hold the table plank. So again, the table plank is just the bear crawl without moving. So again, we got 10 each way. Then if you keep your knees about hip width apart or just a little bit wider, you will notice that your, your core will start to kick in. So again, just keep moving. We got 10 each way, so 20 movements. One more, and done, great job. Now from here, we're gonna go mountain climber. So we're in that tall plank position. Again, if you don't feel comfortable with the mountain climber, we're just gonna hold that tall plank or top of the push-up position. With the mountain climbers, I want you to focus on going slow so that way you can build uh, some core strength as you're doing it. So we're gonna start off with 12 each way. So bring one knee in, return it right back. So it's not just you know trying to go for speed, and see how fast we can go. Nice job. Five more each way. Two. One more each way. And done. Excellent job, everybody. Now from here, we're gonna go into some ab circles. Okay, so with our ab circles, for most people, this is probably their least favorite exercise to do. So I apologize for doing it already at the beginning. Now you're lying on your back. Whether the hands are out to the side or underneath you, that's really up to you. And you're just going to go into little circles. Okay, so we're going to go 30 seconds one way. Take a quick moment to, uh, to relax, get the back to feel good, and then go in 30 seconds the other way. Starting that timer right now.
and you will notice that one side is going to be harder than the other. Keep it up, everybody. Keep it up. Two, one, and relax. Nice job. We're going to go the other way. Just give yourself a couple seconds. And we're starting up in three, two, one, and we're going. Excellent job, everybody. Let's keep it up. Again, you can keep the head relaxed on the floor. You don't have to lift it up. You're just going to strain your neck that way. So let's keep it going. Keep it going, everybody, in five, three, two, one, and relax. Nice job. Nice job. Okay, we're going to go back to those bear crawls. So now I just want to pick up the speed, so I'm not going to do so much explaining, uh, or I'm going to do more explaining as we go. So again, we got 10 each way. You also want to make sure that you're moving the hand and opposite leg. And done. Nice job. We're going to go mountain climbers next. So let's keep it going, everybody. You guys are doing an awesome job. Okay, we got 12 each way. Two, one, and done. Excellent job. Excellent work, everybody. Good. We're going to go right back to those ab circles. Again, okay, we got 30 seconds in each way. So we are starting up, everybody, in three, two, one, and we're going. Again, the higher the legs are, the easier it is. So find an area where you can hold it for 30 seconds without there being much pain. Now, if there is pain in that lower back, what I want you to focus on here is go into some leg lifts. And again, just go where you feel comfortable. So you're just going to hold it. You're just going to go right into some leg lifts. Keep it up, everybody. Keep it up. In two, one, and relax. Nice job. Now from here, let's go the other way. And we are starting back up in three. Two, one, and we're moving. Again, those who you, of you who are doing leg lifts, just keep doing those leg lifts. You guys are doing a great job here. Again, hopefully you have some good music playing on in the background. Keep you moving, keep you motivated. Keep it up, everybody. Keep it up. And time. Nice job. We're going to get one more cycle through, one more round through. So again, we got 10 each way. Again, thank you for those who are watching. I really appreciate it. And again, make sure that you're moving hand and opposite leg. Two, one, and done. Great job. Excellent work, everybody. Again, if you need to grab water at any point, feel free to do so. You don't have to, you know, just keep going because I'm, I'm going. I want you guys to make sure that you are feeling good when you're doing this, that when you wake up tomorrow, you're a little sore, but nothing too crazy or debilitating, okay? We're going to go right back into those mountain climbers again, nice and slow. We got 12 each way. Let's go one more each way. And done. Excellent job, everybody. Excellent job. Great news here. We're going to go into our ab circles one last time, 30 seconds each way. Hopefully you guys are all feeling really good. If you guys can put something up in the comments, uh, that'll be great. Starting up in three, two, one, and we're going again. If ab circles just aren't working for you because 
your back's bugging you or your hips may be uh, really tight and bugging you, by all means, go legless. Again, going right up and slowly returning back down. Keep it up, everybody. Just keep it up. Come on. Come on. Three, two, one, and relax. Nice job. And we're going to go the other way. And we are starting up in three, two, one, and we're moving. Here we go. Last 30 seconds here, everybody. Last 30 seconds. Keep pushing. Here we go. Again, if you're doing leg lifts, you're still doing those leg lifts. going we're almost done and time excellent job everybody let's grab a little bit of water give yourself a couple moments if you need it that's perfectly fine again thank you for those who are taking the class right now so what we're going to do is this um, we're going to start with some push-ups. Once we get the push-ups in, we're going to go squat jumps next. I'll show you those. Uh, if you have a couch, table, uh, chair of some sort, um, especially with a chair, make sure it's up against the wall and I'll explain uh, what we're doing. We got tricep dips with that. We have frog thrusters and I'll show you that after. And then skater hops, which we did during our warm-up. So no different. Second. Just okay, great. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my chair. I'll pull it back so that way I'm not doing too much uh, in terms of setting up in between each each exercise or each rep. Okay, so we're going to start with some push-ups. We're going to go 12 push-ups again. If you cannot get the 12 push-ups, that's perfectly fine. We have three opportunities or three rounds um, to really focus on doing this. Uh, and again, if you can't do it, I have these videos up on YouTube. You can access them and you can challenge yourself uh, on another day. Okay, so with our push-ups, I like to start with being on my toes. Now, if you want to do the push-ups on your toes, that's perfectly fine. If you cannot or feel uncomfortable with doing push-ups on the toes, that's still fine. What I want you to focus on here is start in that tall plank position or push-up position, then bend the knees. So as you can see, nothing's really changed from my back position besides the fact that I just went on my knees instead of my toes. Okay. So now the next thing here on the knees is making sure that we're going straight down, keeping that back flat, not keeping the butt still up towards the ceiling. Okay. So let's get 12. Again, if you don't get all 12, that's fine. Two more. Let's go. And done. There's 12. Nice job. Now we're going to go to some squat jumps. If you don't feel comfortable with the squat jumps, by all means, do not focus on doing the jump part. Just go right into the squat. Go where you feel comfortable with the squat. Okay? So again, it's a slight bend in the knees. Bring the, the hands behind you, and then hopping right up. We got 15. Great job here, everybody. Two. One more. And done. Great job. Now we're going to go into some tricep dips, okay? So we're going to be working the back of the arms with our tricep dip. What I like to focus on here, again, keep that chair up against the wall so that way it's not going to slide behind you. Uh, again, if you're using a table, just slide it behind uh, onto a couch. So start by, you know, more or less sitting on whatever you're using for those dips. Hands are going to be palms down on the, on the chair, table, whatever you're using, couch. I like to go with my knees bent, going right down, right back up. Great job, everybody. We got 15. Five. 
One more. And done. Great job. From here, we're going to go into some frog thrusters. I'm just going to move this over to the side so I have some space. So with our frog thrusters, it's just the bottom portion of our burpee. Okay, so hands are down. You can either kick both legs out at the same time or one leg out at a time. Whichever one you prefer, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure that you're not uh, putting your back, your lower back in, in a position to get hurt. We have 10 reps, okay? So again, you can either kick both legs out and right back in or one at a time. And again, we got two, we got 10, four, two, one more. And done, great job. Now we're gonna go skater hops. The reason why I like these skater hops is just more of an active rest or active recovery. Just moving and focus on trying to get that breath back in. And try to get the arms to swing. So if I'm going to my right, my left arm is shifting over to my right. I'm moving to my left. My right arm is moving over to my left. Two, one, and done. Great job. That's one round right there. We got two more rounds after this. Okay, again, if you need to grab a little bit of water, you need to wipe down, by all means do so. We're going to go right back into our push-ups. Again, the hand placement is whatever feels most comfortable. Okay, the closer the hands are to the body, the more tricep, back of the arm. The hands are a little wider, you feel it more in that chest. And we got 12. Again, if you don't get all 12, that's perfectly fine. Last one. And there's 12. Great job. Now we're going to stand right back up. Go into our squat jumps. So again, arms behind. Right up. Right back down. Again, we got 15. Three, two, one more. And done. Great job. We're going to move that chair or go over to that chair or table. We got our tricep dips next. Again, if you need to grab a little bit of water, by all means do so. If you need to take a couple moments to catch your breath, by all means. The workout is designed to go at your own pace. Again, we got 15. Three, two, one more, and done. Great job. Again, those back of the arms are probably going to be feeling it uh, the most. Again, we'll do a quick stretch at the end for the triceps just so that way they get a little looser. We're going to go into our frog thrusters next. So again, here we go. We got 10 reps. And done. There's 10. Great job, everybody. Nice job. Let's keep it up. We got our skater hops so again. Using this more as the active recovery. Still getting some activity in. One, and done, great job. Again, if you gotta wipe some sweat down, by all means do so. If you need to grab some water, again, by all means do so. We're doing an awesome job here. We got a couple minutes left, one more round. Again, we'll stretch out the triceps after, and then you, my friends, are done for today. Again, I'll stick around for the stream just for a couple minutes. If you guys have any questions, we're going to go right back to those push-ups. We again got 12 push-ups, so here we go. Four, two, one more. And done. Great job. 
guys are doing awesome here. Let's keep it up. Let's keep that energy up. 15 squat jumps. Five more. Three, two, one. And done. Great job. Nice work. And that chair right up against the wall. Again, or in my case, the door. We have 15 more tricep dips. I know I'm out of breath. Five more. Three, one, and done. Great job. Now you may have noticed I also did a little bit of uh, where my, my feet were, my legs were a little bit more bent. That just makes the movement just a little bit easier, especially if those triceps are really fatigued, okay? And you can't, you can't extend those arms anymore, okay? Whew. Two more exercises left, everybody, so let's keep it going. We got our frog thrusters, we got 10 reps. We're starting right now. Two, one more, and done, great job. Excellent work, everybody, keep it up, let's keep it up. Last 15 each way. Keep it up, keep it up. Five. Three, two, let's keep it up. One more each way. And you're done. Awesome job, everybody. Nice work. Nice work. You can probably tell my shirt is a little damp from all the sweating. I'm sure you guys are also feeling the same way right now. Again, I want to thank everybody uh, who took the time in their day to hang out with me, get the workout done. Now you can get on with the rest of your day. I hope you guys are feeling a lot better. Um, then when you guys started, I know you're probably huffing and puffing, but I'm also sure that if there was, you know, some sort of mishap in the office, you know, quote unquote home office, um, this time just allowed you to do some problem solving while we were working out. Okay. So I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I'm going to stick around for a couple minutes, answer whatever questions you may have. Um, but before we do that, that tricep stretch that I had mentioned, the thumb's going to be pointing up, hand a little bit higher uh, than the shoulder, and it's just rotate away, return right back in, rotate away. Let's get 10. Great job, everybody. Great job. Hope you guys have a good lunch prepared and good let's switch sides again I'm on Tuesdays and Thursdays starting at 1150 with flex then from 1220 to 1250 I go right into our get up session this happens weekly again if you guys can uh, give me a follow it's right on top of the video there's a heart sign right next to it it doesn't mean that you're paying for anything all it does is it gives you a notification when I am going to be going live. Uh, besides these exercise videos, I plan on doing some cooking or nutrition type stuff um, on top of these exercise workouts or videos. Two. Let's get one more. And done. Great job. So again, I want to thank everybody uh, who decided to come on. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you guys on Thursday. If you guys can... Uh, put in the comment box uh, that, you know, if you have any questions, by all means, let's answer those questions um, and we'll go from there. So again, for those of you who have to, take, who have to uh, go back to the office, by all means, have an awesome day. I hope to see you guys uh, on Thursday. Awesome. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to say Katie. 
Thank you for the comment. Again, if you guys have any questions, health related, fitness related, um, nutrition related, let's let's answer those questions. Um, that way, um, we can definitely you know get you in the right direction. So I know this isn't a question that's been asked um, personally uh, before the workout. I know I do that flex session. So by all means, I'll put the uh, link um, in my Twitch uh, channel so that way you guys can, you guys can see those uh, for past episodes, past classes. Um, I know I offer the flex class, but if you don't have time to hop into flex, one thing that I do like to do is I like to foam roll, whether it's with a foam roller, uh, I use... A lacrosse ball especially like for harder to reach areas that just need a little bit more uh, TLC um, by all means I do that as well um, and then sometimes I'll go right into some stretching I like to do mobility by mobility I mean like the foam rolling and then stretching out right after just because the muscles are starting to get some blood flow into the area so it's gonna allow me to get a little bit more movement uh, in, in the muscles uh, in terms of Right before class, if like there's something that you should be eating, I personally like to do something maybe about an hour to an hour and a half before class, uh, just so that way blood sugars, you know, fine. Um, we can still perform. You're not feeling sick. Uh, if you eat just before, you'll feel sick. If you eat too long, if you wait too long to eat, um, then you may also sometimes feel sick. Uh, it really depends from person to person. I know this morning, uh, the most I did was actually just have a cup of coffee. Um, but I've worked out like this before, so it's, you know, it doesn't affect me all that much, um, in terms of that lightheaded, dizzy, uh, feeling. Uh, now if you are starting to feel lightheaded or dizzy, um, sometimes if you just take the smallest, you know, pinch of some sugar, um, just let it dissolve a little bit and, and, you know, put it on your tongue, let it dissolve. Sometimes you may feel a little bit better. It may take you a couple moments. Uh, also, another thing that you can do is just lie flat on your back and just focus on your breathing. Sometimes that just allows your body to, to downregulate um, because it sometimes will go into a fight or flight uh, situation. So you want it to just allow it to rest, recover before moving uh, into some more stuff or more work. Uh, and again, as time goes on, uh, you'll start to notice that maybe you don't need to eat before or just before like that hour, hour and a half. You may... Um, physiologically, your body may just figure out how to utilize uh, whatever energy sources the body has um, to, to be able to do uh, the workouts in general. So again, I'm going to hop off. Um, I've been on for a couple, couple extra minutes. I know uh, there's still some viewers. So again, I really thank you guys for taking, your time, taking the time out of your day uh, to be with me, uh, to do this workout together. If you guys have any questions, by all means, please reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter at Coach Hector M, or reach out to me at Discord at Road to Strength. It's a capital R, capital S, with the hashtag or pound sign of 2587. Again, uh, Discord is more of like a app messaging system, uh, but it also allows you to join communities and just talk about uh, whatever that community is based on. Um, I know Discord has been doing a lot more work, uh, including other communities, because it's Discord was originally meant for uh, the gaming community, um, but they're starting to look at this as a, this can, you know, fit the needs of like a book club of some sort, or talk about, you know, what's going on, uh, you know, in terms of movies that, they, that you've watched or sports that you've watched. Um, but again, I know there's, everybody kind of hopped off, so I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope to see you guys really soon. Have a great day and see you on Thursday for our, uh, our flex session at 11.50. Take care. Have a great day.